Hi everyone, so this is the reveal for the January UK Glitter Swap. Um, the theme this month was your favourite most wanted nail polish. Um, we had seven people taking part this month including myself. So far I do only have three swaps in. Um, I'm still waiting for Little Miss Beauty, Mishy Loves Art 36 and Millie and Will. Now I am aware that Mishy Loves Art 36 and Millie and Will are both from the USA. Um, I did ask for all swaps to be in by today but um, I am going to give an extra few days mainly because I am snowed in at the moment so I can't literally get out of my street. Um, so I'm probably going to wait until either Saturday or Monday to get these out so hopefully that will give enough time for the other swaps that are not in yet to get in so that's what I'll do for that but I'll just quickly go over the list with you um, so I do have Donna Kennedy's in I'm still waiting on Little Miss Beauty I've got Michelle Maines in I have got Little Kitten 6 in Waiting for me, she loves art. Again, she is in the US, I am aware of that. Um, that's myself, so mine are obviously in. And still waiting for Millie and Will, again, US. So there's just the three that we're waiting for. And like I say, with the weather being the way it is at the moment, hopefully those extra few days that I'm going to allow will bring the other swaps in. So, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get that out the way. And... The ones that I've got in are here, so I'm just going to kind of shuffle them out the way a sec and then I'll go through them all. I'll just quickly start with my swap. Um, the one I chose to recreate was China Glaze. It's a trapeze. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. I'm sure most of you by now have actually seen this nail polish. It is huge at the moment. Everybody went wild for it. But it is just... It's in basically a white milky base and it's got tons of little hexagon glitters in like reds, blues, greens, gold, silver. So that is basically what I have created in there. Like I say, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera but that is my mix. Um, and for the nail art for this one I've just included a ton of different spangles, you've got butterflies in there, flowers, hearts, you've got little rhinestones, you've got some bullion, you've got cut out hearts, there's just literally everything that you can think of in there. So that is mine. Um, so I'll just get those out of the way and then we'll move on to the next one. Right, the next one that I've got, look how cute this little envelope is. I love this tape and these cute little SpongeBob stickers that my little boy went wild for. He loved them. So let me just get this out. I don't want to show anybody's addresses. Um, yeah, she's included her self-addressed stamped envelope, so that's absolutely fabulous. And this, if I'm not mistaken, is by Michelle Mean. It is. I'll just show you this little card that she sent first. Look how gorgeous the paper it is. It's glittery ladybirds. How cute is that? Um, inside she's just wrote, obviously, thanks for letting me join the swap and things. Her favourite nail polish is Nails Ink London Special Effects in Electric Lane. And it's a holographic polish. And she has been so nice as to include a picture of it how cute is that and look at that polish it's absolutely amazing um and she's actually done a screenshot of the bottle as well so we can see it there in the bottle and we can see it there on her nails how fab is that um she's also wrote that she's included a mix for me as well so thank you so much for that michelle that was really really nice of you so moving on to her mixes again look how cute this little sticker is here <laughs> Um, wow, look at that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop one off because she did say one was for me. So I'll just pop that off and hold that up to the camera because I haven't really got much room here yet. Just like that. So I'm going to hold it up. Wow, look at the bling in that. This is obviously 
holographic mix in there I can see fine holographic glitter I can see tinsel glitter I can see I think I can see some little diamonds in there as well yeah I can some little hexes or some circles it is just absolutely amazing I love this look how sparkly and blingy that is and look at our little labels as well they're so cute and she's named this main nails by michelle main how cute um for her nail art she has included again just a nice little mixed bag i've got i can see some little holographic betty boops in there how cute are them i don't have any of them um some little square silver spangle type thing she's also included a little flower i don't know if you can see that there so like i say just a really really nice mixture I think, oh it's a little playboy bunny in there as well how cute so yeah just a really really nice holographic mix and like i say a little bag full of different spangles so that is absolutely beautiful so thank you so much for that michelle um i'll just double check to make sure all the nail art's the same yeah i think it is just because sometimes you guys put different nail arts in different bags which is fine but i just like to check just to yeah they're all the same so that was the lovely mix by michelle main i love that one moving on who have we got next yes um let me just get this open we've got a fabulous mix from little kitten six um she has joined us in the glitter swaps before and she decided to join again this month so thank you for taking part again um she's wrote a little note at the top here um just saying that her most wanted polish is candy shop by deborah Lick Lipman. It's a cute pink polish with lots of multicolored hexagons in it obviously i'm sure most of you know that Deborah Lipman polishes are quite expensive so she hasn't been able to make herself splurge on it yet so she's created this in glitter form and let me tell you it is absolutely beautiful um it's obviously a pink based glitter I'll try and hold it up so you can get a better look there that's it it's a pink based glitter and it's got tons of different colour hexes in I can say purple hexes, silver hexes, gold hexes, blue I can say holographic silver hexes it just looks fantastic I love this pink's my favourite colour anyway and this is just absolutely gorgeous um, and again she's just named it Deborah Lipman Candy Shop which is absolutely fine because that's the polish she's inspired by and she's wrote her screen name on as well which is fab and the nail art that comes with these let me just turn them over um it's the same for each one just kind of different colors she's just included a couple of little baggies of rhinestones so we've got pink and green we've got pink and red purple and lilac red and lilac and red and baby pink i think so that's her nail art and she's been extra generous with those rhinestones as well there's absolutely tons in there so that is her mixes i'll just give you one last look there look how amazing absolutely beautiful i love that so that was by little kitten six so again thank you so much for taking part um where am i right last mix that i've got in so far is by my lovely friend Donna Louise Kennedy I think on YouTube now she's just called Miss Donna Louise um, I think it had something to do with all the Google name changes or something so she has just again wrote a little she sent this gorgeous little card she always sends gorgeous little cards or really nice papers and to stick our glitters in it's just lovely um, so she sent this and she just wrote a little note on the top just to say she would really love a holographic polish so this is her interpretation of a polish that she would love a holographic one um she has included one for me as well so i'm just going to take it off and i'll hold that one up for you so if you just bear with me two seconds i'll pop this off here and i'll hold it up if it wants to come off what I'm going to do I'm going to take it out of the little baggie because she's popped it in another one as well so I'll just take it out so you can get a closer look I'll try and 
try not to spill anything. <laughs> Right, so this is her mix and it's not really picking it up on camera but it is a lot more holographic than that. I think she's actually got some really, really fine pink or lilac glitter in which looks fantastic but like I say it's not really picking it up on the camera. So in here I can see fine glitter dust, I can see tiny, tiny little squares, I can see some tinsel glitter. What else can we see in there? Yeah, quite a lot of tinsel glitter. I don't know if I can see tiny little hexes in there. It's quite hard to see. But like I say, it definitely has some kind of... It looks to be pink or lilac mixed in as well, which is, add, adds a really, really nice touch. I really like that. So that is her interpretation of a really, really nice holographic nail polish that she would love to own. So that is lovely. And for her nail art... She sent different colour, no she didn't send different colour, different styles of holographic spangles. It's not really picking it up on the camera at all because all you're getting is the shine off the bag. But in here she's got holographic flowers, holographic hearts, holographic cut out stars, holographic moons. Just a nice little mixture and they would just obviously go really nice with the mix as well. Um, or obviously you can pop them over a different polish entirely up to you but that is her mix what she sent in so thank you so much Donna and thank you for including one for me as well so so like I say that is all of the mixes that I received in for this month Um, hopefully we will get the other ones that we're waiting for. We're waiting on three. Hopefully we will get them in by at the latest Monday. I'm not going to let it go over Monday. Because um, obviously the people who have took part will want to get their... The will want to get their swaps and things back so I'm going to leave it till Monday at the latest hopefully they are in by then I always send everybody a message when I've got their glitter mix in um, so if they are in by Monday they will all go out you will all get them posted back out to you on Monday um, just a reminder for international I will have to take yours to the post office but I will send you a message and I'll charge you return postage through PayPal so there's nothing to really worry about on that side. Um, if they don't come in, there's nothing that I can do. I'll just have to swap the ones out that I, that I do have at the moment. You might, the, the swaps that are in at the moment, you might end up with one of your own mixes back. Again, there's nothing I can do because, like I say, the others haven't come in yet. But hopefully, fingers crossed, they will be in and you won't end up with any of your own back. But... Like I say, you might end up with one of your own back or, or something like that. But I've just got to do with what I can and what mixes I have in at the moment. So that's all I can do. Um, I just want to say another really, really big thank you to everybody for taking part. Um, it's nice to know that there's a few people out there who support this UK Glitter Swap. I think it's always nice to get one going in your own country. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your support everybody and again I just want to thank everybody for when they do this swap as well, they include one for me which you really really don't have to, I don't do this swap to get free glitters for myself just as I'm drowning in glitter anyway. Um, but it is really nice so I just want to say thank you to the people who do um, include one for me as well because like I say you don't have to at all um so yeah that was the reveal as soon as i get some more in which hopefully i'll get them in the next few days i will do the last part of the reveal and i shall let you all know when they have been posted out to you so thanks everybody bye